Okay, welcome to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot, and this is a reading for Aquarius. All Aquarius placements. This is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave a like and a comment and all that good stuff to exchange some energy. And let's get started on this reading for Aquarius. All Aquarius placements. Angel Spirits guides messages for Aquarius. Thank you. Starting off with the Page of Swords. Somebody watching you. You're watching somebody. You're keeping an eye, keeping tabs on something or somebody. Um, these two want to come out. Okay, wow, the devil and the three of pentacles. You feel like you have to do some research and keep an eye on this person because you feel stuck in this situation. It looks like a relationship. Major transformation coming your way. Um, I see the, yeah, fighting in this love relationship. Here's the emperor getting the upper hand and taking your power back. King of Cups, this is about emotional security, emotional maturity, and then at the bottom of the deck, the Ace of Swords and the Five of Cups. So the truth comes out. The truth is here. You know the truth. You find out the truth, something new, some new information, and it's very disappointing. You're going through a grieving process. You have the Devil here and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so there's that black in the background. And... um. It's just shadow energy here, feeling tied down and stuck in this obligation, having to collaborate with some people. It could be at work. It could be in a love relationship. I mean, the two of cups is here, so it makes me think it's a love relationship that you just, maybe you don't want to be a part of it anymore. Maybe there's a reason why. Maybe this ace of swords, page of swords, you doing some research, looking into somebody, maybe even spying on them. You learn something and it totally transforms the way that you view this relationship and you just, it's going to change the collaboration. It changes the nature of the collaboration. Either somebody learns something about you or you learn something about somebody else, but you cannot go on any longer in business as usual. And look, there's a fight with the five of, the five of wands being here. There's fighting and arguing competition and there's this. Yeah, you're mirroring each other, this love relationship, okay? You're both going back and forth in this fighting energy. And here's the emperor. This is about personal power. It's about authority. It's about making your own way in your own life, structuring your life the way that you want it to be. Um, it could be somebody who, in the negative aspect, is controlling, domineering, and unsympathetic. But the King of Cups is here, and that's emotional maturity, like I said. So this could be a very emotional situation for you, having to go through this with somebody who's mirroring your energy. There's this mutual argument, mutual disagreement. There's also this transformation taking place, and you know you have to let go of the old thing because it's just it doesn't exist anymore seven of pentacles it's only a matter of time before this happens eight of swords there's something that you just don't want to see you don't want it to be true um hold on let's get a couple more clarifying high priestess but you know it's true the your intuition is telling you it's true and the four of swords it's time to sleep on it to take some rest maybe you've been struggling with this for a while and it's time for you to rest and recuperate bottom of the deck nine of wands yeah there's that struggle and then the split is the wheel of fortune so positive changes are coming in for you Okay, but there's been a long, hard struggle. It's not been easy. You're feeling very stuck. You're feeling trapped in this situation. You're feeling trapped in a relationship that is no longer positive. Maybe it was at some time in the past, but right now it's very toxic, probably for the both of you. And you're assessing the situation and your assessment of the situation is quite negative. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you have a really negative assessment of this situation based on your intuition, based on the way you feel about it, based on how tired you are of fighting. You're so tired, you're so done with this. You just want to you just want to excuse yourself. You want to take your power back. You want to be emotionally secure. This is for security. Yeah. You're you're just you're not having it anymore. 
This has got to end with the death card. This collaboration is over. Ten of Cups. Okay. Judgment or the Aeon. The Art card. And the bottom of the deck is the Chariot. The Hanged Man also wanted to come out. So there's forward movement, really strong push forward. And there's also something that's got to be sacrificed. Something's been delayed. There's a delay on this forward movement, but you've got to let something go in order to pick up speed, to move forward, to move on. So this is going to change with the judgment here. You have a higher calling, okay? You have, it's, again, it's a matter of time. And yeah, you're called to live a good life healthy life. You want emotional security, satisfaction, happiness. You want your cups to overflow. You don't want to be stuck wasting your life in a toxic relationship that's that's not good for you. That you, you know, you're being really quiet about this right now. I think you're sleeping on it. You're taking some time to recuperate after this something devastating perhaps came out about this. But you are thinking about the future. You're thinking about how you're going to move forward, how you're going to get unstuck from this. Yeah, there's a sense of being trapped, stuck, inhibited. There's this feeling of being punished and disappointed. There's just this grieving. You're, you're mourning the loss of something that might have been really important to you at one point, but you're so tired of it. Yeah, you're, you're holding on. You're tired of holding on. You're tired of holding back. You don't want to hold on or hold back anymore. You want this change to happen. You're planning on it. You're at a crossroads. You're looking forward to the change. You're looking forward to karma justice. You're looking forward to balance and stability and security. You're bored in this situation. You're over it. It's, it's over. You're done with it. Yeah, five of cups again. Disappointment. You're so disappointed in whatever this is. Your intuition is telling you, to let it go and you just want to you want to move on you want to be happy in your life you only have one life to live maybe it's time for you to go back to the drawing board and come up with something new a big radical change in your life is going to happen and you know okay so these cards fell out it's about appreciation endurance riches and control again with that emperor energy capricorn he is here again so so you want to be appreciated, okay? And look, you're fighting here. You've got to endure this. And you don't, you know, you've got the riches. You've got the control you want. You want to be in control of your own finances. You want to be in control of your own abundance. There's music here as well. Okay, look, this is the moon in Leo. And this person is fighting a lion. So there could be a Leo involved here. Music instruments again. The sun and the moon, Saturn and Jupiter. There's opposing elements here. There's opposing sides, opposing arguments. And all this opposition, all this fighting that you've had to endure just to keep control over your own abundance. You want appreciation. You don't want to have to endure a fight constantly. You want, you want to be appreciated, okay? So let's get some bluebird. Mountain. Confront the mountain as you would a fierce foe. To avoid your defeat, strike hard the first blow. This clear obstacle is a chance to succeed. Courage and persistence are all that you need. Courage and persistence. When you f Yeah, it's a fierce foe. You gotta strike hard. Let's see. The book. The unopened book weaves stories concealed. When the pages are read, the truth is revealed. The book guards tales of inner emotion. Blessed are the words of deep devotion. Okay, and the bottom of the deck is the lilies. Lilies are white, green leaves surround. The outlook is bright and passion will abound. When this card rests higher, it means good disposition. And the card resting lower is a dubious position. So, all right. I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. There might be something... A mystery here there's something you're keeping to yourself you're sleeping on it you're taking some time to contemplate your next move you're not making any sudden movements but there's a journey here okay 
journey. So you could be traveling. This is also the 10 of pentacles. There's wedding and then there's thought. So you're thinking about this wedding. You're thinking about this marriage. Yeah, that's the four of swords. It's like thinking about it. Seven of cups, five of cups, disappointment. Oh boy. Confusion, uncertainty, cloudiness, clouded emotions. The city house, somebody could live in the city. And contrariety and displeasure at the bottom is a soldier so you've had to endure this you've had to fight there's a you're really displeased you're really unhappy maybe with where you're living maybe with this person who lives in an apartment in the city you're taking a journey you're thinking about this marriage you're think yeah maybe you're visiting somebody in the city and you're gonna have a conversation about this with somebody that you can confide in yeah there's a confidant here with the king of cups somebody who really understands what you're going through Maybe somebody's been through it themselves before. Secrets coming out, major transformation. You're following your intuition. You're, you've got a negative assessment of the situation and it's just got to change. You're, you're not interested in enduring this anymore. You want to take your power back. You want to control your own abundance. You want to go towards your wish fulfillment. You want to be satisfied in a relationship. So you have a higher calling to create something new for yourself, to recombine your energy somewhere else. Okay, Aquarius. Aquarius, that's what I've got for you. I hope this was helpful. If it resonates and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know, share the energy and exchange energy with me. In either way, I'll be back again soon to do another reading for you. I hope this was of service and good luck. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.